So recently, a student asked me if I could recommend some easy beginner bass songs for them to learn. And it got me thinking, are there some songs that are so important that beginners simply must know them? On the one hand, it would be good to give this person some quick, easy wins, so songs that are technically so easy they could just play right away. But we all know there are certain skills beginners simply have to know. So if you, as a beginner, are going to learn a song, surely it would be better to learn one that's going to teach you an essential skill, right? So what's an example of a bass line that teaches an essential skill? Well, one I always like to give my beginner students is With or Without You by U2. The bass line that goes like this. is the same four notes that loops round and round again for the entire song. So what's the essential skill that they're learning from this? So I give this to beginners a lot because it's really good for their technique. It gets both the fingers moving on this hand, it gets them playing with a pick if they learn it with a pick, and it also teaches them how to fret notes with their fretting hand. Now that's all well and good, but you might be thinking there's a lot more than beginners need to know than just technique, and you'd be right. For example, beginners would also have to know how to lock in with a kick drum. To teach them that, I often have my beginner students learn something like 100 by Tommy Sims. The bass part, which mirrors the kick drum, just goes like this. So if you're a beginner, there's another song you can learn right there, but there's a problem with this. See, learning to listen to a kick drum as you play a different instrument is actually quite a difficult abstract skill. You've got to split your focus in a number of different ways. But the song is still technically quite easy. So should a beginner learn it or not? So what we're starting to see here is something I talked about in my last video. On the one hand, there's things that they want to know. So these are typically songs and technical based things. But on the other hand, there are also skills that they need to develop whether they like it or not, like listening skills. Not sure what I mean? OK, let me talk you through the problem by showing you the third song. So the third song on this list is a 12 bar blues. Now on the one hand this can fit into the camp of stuff that is technically quite easy to pick up because a 12 bar blues on the bass is often just a simple repeated pattern like this but the difficult abstract part comes in when you start to cycle that round the different chords of a blues. So in this case we'd start on A, go up to D, A, up to the four chord, back to the one, five, four, one, five. Okay, so I want to pause here for a second. First of all, if you're a beginner and you are getting put off by me talking about things like chord numbers and cycling round progressions, don't switch off just yet, all will be explained. But the fact that you might be feeling a bit confused is very much the point I'm making. You're caught in the trap between experiencing something that is quite enjoyable and technically easy, so playing the blues riff, and something that is essential but also a bit more demanding, like intellectually understanding the theory behind how the blues works. So if you are stuck in this trap and you want to know a little bit more about it, I've talked about it in more detail in this video up here from last week, so go up there, check that out. But before you do that, we know you're in a trap, so let's figure out how to get you out of it. So it might seem at first like a good idea here would be to tone down the difficulty of the abstract stuff. Learning song number four on the list, which is Learn to Fly by the Foo Fighters, I could tell you the notes, which are B, F sharp and E, and then give you one rhythm which you had to play on all of them. So the rhythm would be dun 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 But this sadly doesn't actually address the problem. So with Learn to Fly, yes, you can match up the notes you need to play with the rhythms and kind of do the, the legwork up here and do it in a, as a mental exercise. But what you don't understand is 
why we have those notes and why we have those rhythms. In order to play the blues, on the other hand, you need to actually comprehend the actual form structure of it. You need to comprehend where the chords are, how long to stay on each chord, how the riff that you're playing can be started from each chord. In short, your mental capacities are much more actively involved in understanding the blues. Okay, so hang on. A moment ago, I promised you guys a way out of this, and it looks like I've just led you into much more and more of a mess. What's going on here? Are you supposed to just learn songs at random that might not make you any better? What you need is a slightly more sophisticated way of learning songs that will help you incorporate and balance the things you want to know and the things you need to know. So, little story that proves the point. The student that I mentioned at the start of this lesson, the song that they were really interested in learning is song number five on this list, which is My Girl by The Temptations. So if you think about the four songs we've looked at so far, each time I've been telling you exactly what you need to learn to play them. What we haven't yet looked at is how you learn these songs. Now this was the big breakthrough we had with my beginner student. She really wanted to learn My Girl by The Temptations, which in terms of the technical stuff is a relatively easy song, but rather than giving her the notes, I asked if she could work them out by ear. So she spent a bit of time listening to the song and eventually found the notes and groove for the verse all on her own. So I was there to check her work every step of the way and make corrections, but because she figured out the notes by herself, she started to develop her ear, she started to develop all the mental skills. She could start to make connections between what she was hearing and where those sounds were located on the bass. So the value in this lesson doesn't come from just going and learning these five songs, it comes from thinking about exactly how you're going to learn them. Yes, you would learn them a lot quicker if you went and just ripped the tabs off the internet and learned to play the notes. But if you can dig a little bit deeper and put in the hard yards of trying to work these out by ear yourself, maybe go to your teacher and do a bit of listening with them and some theory analysis and learn about how and why the bass line's been constructed in the way that it has, you're going to be able to develop all the abstract listening and mental skills you need to become a great bass player from music that you really love. Let me know what you think of this video and these five songs. If you've got any more that you want to recommend, always happy to hear about it down in the comments below. Apologies, I've not been able to play the actual audio from the songs in these lessons, but I don't want to get a copyright strike. But what I have done is linked to all five on a Spotify playlist you can find down below in the description. If you want to check out my video from last week, it's up there. As ever, if you want some free exercise PDFs, they're also linked down below in the description. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. Thanks again, and I'll see you real soon. Take care.